Hello, I'm Dr. Mashika Williams-Roberts, and I'm the Medical Director and Assistant Health Commissioner at Columbus Public Health. So I came to Columbus almost 10 years ago working for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I had the opportunity to um, work for Dr. Long, and I think she wanted me to join her team so that I could add my expertise on working in infectious disease and an outbreak investigation. The um, pertussis outbreak that I had the opportunity to work on here in Columbus was a very large outbreak. My role in the pertussis outbreak was to look at all the resources that we had at the health department and see how we can make sure they were available and what the community was aware of them. The YWCA Family Center had an outbreak of chicken pox and I remember talking to Mashika very, very late at night and she was on her way to the Family Center. She had the entire plan mapped out, probably on paper, but certainly in her head as she talked to me on her way to the Family Center. And she stayed there as long as she needed to and came back the next day and brought other resources to the table to help us solve that important health issue. I've been on the board of Mid-Ohio Food Bank for several years, and one of the reasons why I was interested in being a part of the Mid-Ohio Food Bank was because I truly believe in the work they do. And what Mashika's done for us, she chairs our Health and Nutrition Committee, which is a whole new committee about how do we connect to the health community around food. So we're starting to talk to doctors about writing food prescriptions. You know, we're doing fresh food mark produce markets at, you know, clinics. We're also doing diabetes research at the food bank, and she's been instrumental in helping us figure out how we do that. It's new to food banks around the United States. We're at the forefront of doing a lot of this work. And it's really been because she's really got us thinking in terms of how do we connect food and health and how do we really have an impact on the lives of the people right here in Central Ohio. What makes Mashika a woman of achievement is her generous spirit. And she's a leader. She can lead from the front and she can lead from the back and she can lead from the side, but she clearly is a woman of achievement.